Oh, hey, what is going down, you social distancing camera geeks? It is Sam from CameraLegend.com, and we are back today. And uh, in the spirit of the last video, uh, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, I'm back here in the woods uh, again, and uh, just wanted to tell you, you know, I work with a lot of uh, really sick patients and things like that. So for me, going upstate to the woods is a little bit of, of an escape from all this coronavirus thing. And actually, to be honest with you, I don't even have to really wear a mask up here. Okay, but just want to show you guys what I'm shooting with today. All right, so the first camera that I'm shooting with right now is an Olympus Pen W. Now, if you guys know anything about the Olympus Pen series, this is actually a very desirable model. Now, uh, at its current prices, I probably wouldn't have gotten one, but I found a good deal on one uh, a couple of months ago for around 200 bucks. And this one is really, you could you can see that it's really uh, in a little bit of rough condition. All the paint has been stripped off here, but the lens is in good condition and, and that's, like, that's all that counts to me. And, uh, but here's a good example of how something looks great when you're looking at it online or on paper, but it's not as great when you actually get it. All right, you hardcore camera geeks. Well, taking a closer look at the camera, you can see that it is in really pretty rough condition. But uh, as I said, the lens is actually pretty good. So that's all that counts to me. Now, a little geeky tidbit for you guys. The Olympus Pen W was introduced in 1964. It is a half frame camera, which means it takes 35 millimeter film, but it takes two pictures for every one frame. So in other words, if you have a 24 exposure roll, you will get 48 exposures, or a 36 exposure roll will give you 72 exposures, which means a lot of pictures. Uh, in some ways, it's somewhat similar to uh, the micro four thirds comparison to 35 millimeter, except that the dimensions are not exactly uh, the same as that, but it's the same concept. Okay, so on this camera, its claim to fame is a 25 millimeter f 2.8 E Zoico lens. And uh, how do you say that? Zuko? Zuiko. I've always read that it says Zuiko, but I used to call it Zuko. Anyway, um, anyway. Its claim to fame is that 25 millimeter f 2.8 E Zuiko lens, and uh, and it's probably the widest lens in the uh, Olympus half frame family. But uh, as great as that sounds, the 25 millimeter f 2.8 lens on this camera actually equates to a 35 millimeter lens in 35 millimeter equivalent. So uh, I guess back in 1964 that was considered wide but in today's world it's more like a wide normal lens anyway this camera is considered pretty rare uh, but i see them all the time on ebay so take it for what it's worth uh, and this is a good example and i want to tell you why because i'm sure the lens is fantastic i'm sure that it takes great pictures but the picture taking process of this camera is not all that engaging okay it's because it's a zone focus camera, and I'm not a huge fan of zone focus cameras. Uh, second thing is, even though it has an f2.8 lens, which is great for lower light and maybe even night shots, uh, it's hard to nail the focus at f2.8 just by going on the uh, scale. Now, contrary to how it looks, this camera is actually not a rangefinder. It uses zone focus or scale focus, which means and I'll give you a good example of that. So right here, if you could, if you look over here, the minimal focusing distance is two feet and it goes all the way to infinity, obviously. Um, so for example, if somebody is standing two feet in front of you, you would just adjust it to number two and then uh, hopefully everything is in focus. And it sounds great, but in reality, uh, it's not that easy to figure out if the person is actually two feet from you or three feet. So that's one of my problems with zone focus. But for street photography, 
it is a very useful tool and it is it is actually one of the oldest tools in the street photography book so for example if i'm down in new york city and trying to get pictures of the big buildings far away from me i would just probably put it at infinity and put the lens at f8 if it's a pretty sunny day or partly sunny and and if i do that i would be done with it i'll just be taking a lot of shots and most of them would probably be in focus now that's as i said this is great for street photography but uh to be honest with you in my personal opinion zone focus is kind of a soulless process which means that to me it's not a very engaging process you know it's like i put it at inf infinity and i just shoot and i just shoot away it's like you have no real involvement with the camera besides that so and you don't know if it's really in focus or not but if it's if something's at infinity it will be in focus another thing that i don't like about it is because on the pen cameras the the format is vertical and it's hard to get used to that when you when you've been shooting horizontal formats all your life but you get used to it eventually anyway uh i'll let you guys know how this turns out i still got a whole bunch of stuff to shoot with it but anyway despite all my nitpicking i'm actually very happy to have this camera because uh, as i said in other videos i am also a camera collector and to fetch this camera even in the, even in this condition for 200 dollars to me it was worth it so uh we'll see how it goes with the pictures but uh, even as is, I'm happy with it. Shoot with it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time on the CameraLegend.com YouTube channel. Social distancing, baby. My two new favorite words. CameraLegend.com.